This is group D2 presenting an e post on rabies. We usually get rabies from the bite of a rabid animal. It is also possible, but rare, for people to get rabies from non bite exposures, which can include scratches, abrasions, or open wounds that are exposed to saliva or other potentially infectious material from a rabid animal. Pathogenesis After the virus is inoculated into the body, it replicates multiple times in the muscle fibers. It then binds to the nicotinic receptors at the neuromuscular junction, enters the CNS by ascending along the peripheral nerves from wound. Incubation period is 1 to 3 months depending on the distance between the wound and the brain. The virus then replicates in the spinal cord from where it infects the brain, affecting mainly Purkinje cells and hippocampus causing encephalitis. This leads to coma and death, respiratory arrest and convulsions. Morphology Brain shows edema and vascular congestion. Severe inflammatory reaction, especially in brainstem is seen. Microscopic findings It shows negri bodies, which are round, oval and eosinophilic inclusions in cell body of pyramidal neurons of hippocampus and Purkinje cerebellum. Clinical features Prodermal stage, also known as non-specific stage, is characterized by fever and headache. Encephalitic stage. It is characterized by hyperactivity and agitation. Paralytic stage. It is characterized by muscle weakness, flaccid paralysis, contracture of pharyngeal muscle on swallowing leads to hydrophobia. Etiology. The rabies virus belongs to the family Rhabdoviridae, which includes viruses that infect vertebrates, arthropods, and even plants. The genera that infect mammals are two, vesicular virus causing vesicular stomatitis and lysa virus to which the rabies virus belongs. They have a typical bullet-shaped morphology approximately 180 nanometers in length and 65 nanometers in width. The lipid envelope is embedded with glycoprotein G platelomers that form spikes surrounding a helically wound nucleocapsid with unsegmented linear negative sense RNA. Glycoprotein G confers important antigenic properties to the virus. It mediates the binding of the virus to acetylcholine receptors in neural tissues and induces hemagglutination inhibiting antibodies and protective antibodies. The nucleocapsid protein also induces complement fixing antibodies. Immunization Antirabic vaccines are of two types, neural and non-neural. Of these, only the non-neural vaccines Human diploid cell vaccine, purified chick embryo cell vaccine, and purified viro cell vaccine are currently used. Passive immunization is provided by equine rabies immunoglobulins extracted from hyperimmune horses and human rabies immunoglobulin, which is more commonly used. Laboratory diagnosis The laboratory diagnosis of rabies can be done using the following A sample of saliva is tested for the presence of rabies virus. CSF collected by lumbar puncture can be tested for the presence of rabies antibodies. Blood tests can be done to detect the presence of antibodies as well. Brain tissue can be studied using PCR or fluorescent antibodies. Histological staining of negri bodies in the cytoplasm of hippocampal neurons can also be done. Ah uh. My grandson has been feeling himself for the past few months. I thought it was just the exams which was stressing him out. But now I think something is wrong with him, doctor. Okay. 
Are you feeling well today? Are you feeling well today? Yeah, I'm feeling well today. Okay. Now it's going to turn on the lights. You can turn it off now. From what I've heard about your symptoms, I have a strong suspicion that this might be rabies. Oh, do I have rabies? What do you mean, doctor? It couldn't be rabies. The dog wasn't even that deep. The animals that do not look rabid, even the ones at home, the pets that we have, if unvaccinated, can transmit rabies. And uh, the risk of your transmission will be according to the severity. Well, what should I do? What should I do, doctor? For now, all you have to do is wait for the results to come. I'm very sorry to say this, but the lab results have shown that you have tested positive for rabies. And uh, unfortunately, we do not have the resources to treat you here. So we'll have to shift you to another hospital. Uh, I came to the hospital. Can I please take a look at your phone now? This seems to be uh, category 2 more. Is my grandson going to die, doctor? There is nothing to worry about. We can handle this. Uh, we can treat this by giving you two post exposure prophylactic injections. One will be given on each hand of yours. Is it curable? You don't have to worry about anything. We will try our test. Okay. All you have to do is follow the vaccination schedule rigorously. When does he have to come? 3rd, 7th, 28th and 90th day after the pilot. Okay. You, you need to follow these days and uh, you might have some side effects of having itchiness, tightness or swelling. Those will resolve on its own. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. This is for me, right? Yeah. Where you say start, I will start. Hospital? Okay. No, 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 please. No, 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 no,